you look yellow? We're a little jaundiced. We look yellow. We're a little jaundiced. What just happened? I don't. Hey, buddy, I, I just show up here. All right, we're live. Tell people what we're doing, well, but I'm going to try and make us on yellow. Uh, well, apparently we're jaundiced. I, I think if you do the blinds, that will help. Um, well, it's July 21st, live from Ventnor, New Jersey. Uh, Ray and Zach, formerly your auto advocate, no. now, now known as oh, Yah. Formally, yeah. formally, formally, now known as Yah. Are we like You're, yellow? Yeah, now we are. No, we still look yellow. Now we're fine. And uh, and well and tomorrow is Zach's birthday, where the uh, the twenty five year old young entrepreneur will suddenly become an old twenty six year old entrepreneur, and uh, and and so we're here tonight to answer questions, have some fun, and uh, see what we can do for the uh, for our subscribers and the masses out there. That all right, all right, all right. Okay, let, let a professional, let a professional do the intro. Uh -huh. well, let me know when we hire. What one. is going on here? Why are we yellow? You're yellow. I'm not yellow. I'm as pale as can be. Well, that's in the chat. Are we yellow? I feel like we look yellow. Um, and and I have less hair. Than members before. only live stream. We've got community questions that are back in um, old yeller. <laughs> Good one, Mike Dean. <laughs> We've got community questions that we're going to answer. We're yeah. and if it's okay with everyone, we're going to answer as many questions on the community thread as possible. Let me share yeah. my screen so that everyone knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're you're such a big time screen share. We're going to answer as many questions as we can here, and then you're going to go, and then we're going to go public. public if that's okay. Okay, we can take some phone calls and all that fun stuff. Okay, because, so unless anyone objects, that's what we're going to do because it's for your birthday. Is it my eyes? Don't look normal. Worry. Edward says we look normal. Okay. Thank you, Edward. And I do have a You know, which which is pretty amazing since neither one of us is normal. All right, Pops, let's jump on in. Why would Abby normal people look normal? We've got a happy birthday. Thank you, yeah. sir. L no, say it. Lemminkus Minicus. Minicus. Jeremy has a question, Pops. Yeah. What do you think will happen when the semiconductor shortage gets resolved in the year 2021 cars and the 2022 cars come into the dealerships at the same time? I was actually on a live event yesterday um, that was hosted by someone who put us in their newsletter or something like that. Anyway, long story short, he had someone from Auto Trader on. Yeah. And I asked this question in the chat, and I didn't really like his answer personally. Uh, okay. He well, said, he said, manufacturers have, have been privy to this and have stopped production of 2021s. And I'm like, no, they're sitting in fields and stuff yeah. like that. So anyway. You know, and I just saw a little, uh, uh, little headline on uh, uh, my automotive news feed that I get, you know, several emails a day. And somebody said, well... The chip thing is not going to be resolved until sometime in 2022. Yeah. So, so what's your take, though? What's going to happen with all these 20? This is a great question from Jeremy. It's a question yes. I've been asking yes. around the clock as well. What are you, What is your expectation for the vehicles that are sitting 99% of the way done? Yeah. But aren't completed, and yes. then chips start coming. We have the new model year turnover. What is your expectation for what's my, going to my happen? My expectation is that that they will they will stagger the delivery so that there aren't. Uh, such an overlap. You really think so? Yes. I find that fascinating because everything in automotive is about <laughs> just-in-time manufacturing. No one wants to have inventory. Like at the end of the day, in automotive, the manufacturer doesn't want to have inventory. The dealer doesn't want to have inventory. No one wants to hold on to it, right? That's not so. Really? Yeah, well, the whole dealer model, the whole concept of dealerships. No, but there's a cost and, associated and, and, with And that. the size of these dealerships is so that they can have a thousand then, cars on the ground. But then their whole pol all their policies are tied to how quickly you can turn vehicles. That's oh, the point I'm trying to make. Okay. Everyone in just-in-time manufacturing, yeah. no one wants to carry inventory. Is he related to Justin Timberlake? Because there's carrying costs. <laughs> yeah. And so I think the OEMs are going to push all this off to the dealers to be like, all right, they're done now. Now they're yours. You figure it out. And the well, dealers are going to have to. Yeah, to because cope with the that. dealers haven't had any carrying costs recently. Exactly. Like, I think they're going to. But I, I, you know, no, I, 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 differing I, I think, I think, I, I, I think as much as the manufacturers would like to say they're the dealers' partners, which they're not really, um, uh, I, I, I think they'll stagger it. Uh, because if they stagger it, then they can then they can uh, soften the amount of incentives they have to offer to get rid of. Which them. would be OEM incentives, yeah. Yes. Also, thank you everyone for the birthday wishes. I really greatly appreciate them. Well, Justice well. says twenty six is almost thirty. Thirty is halfway to sixty. Man, Zach, it's almost time to retire. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. 
<laughs> I was taking a really nice nap earlier on my dad's bed. It, yeah. was, it was very, yeah. very dad, comfortable. Dad, can I lay down on your bed? Sure. <laughs> Who's other than that? Are gonna... <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really yes. appreciate the birthday wishes. It's pretty cool. Never celebrate with this many people. Yeah. Um, Zach, filters do wonders when you hit my age. It's okay to start practicing at 26 for the inevitable future. Mm. No, we did. <laughs> Been using them. All right, Pops. Next yes. question we've got yes. here. Let me zoom in. This is from Nathan. Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you, Nathan. My coworker just bought a Genesis GV80 successfully after walking away from three other dealers that wouldn't even budge on lower finance rate. The dealer he found in North Aurora, Illinois, found him a great rate of 1.9% and gave him free gap insurance and a lifetime warranty. How amazing. I think that's it's pretty that. amazing. And what I find even more amazing, which which I think they might have told him it was free gap insurance and a lifetime warranty. Uh, my guess is it wasn't free uh, because, as somebody once said, nothing in life really is. Yeah. I mean, it is one thing, but if they made him feel good. Yeah. Th well, th that's worth it right there. You know, maybe, maybe to get the free gap insurance that they charged them for and that free lifetime warranty that they charged them for, you, you, you had to give them the 1.9% interest to take it. They, you didn't look all that closely as to what the charges were for that free gap. And free, Which, uh, when it all nets out, you know, probably, yeah. probably. If he's yeah. happy, that's all that matters. Got a question here from Jerry. Yeah. Hi, Rain Zach. Thank you so much for your help. We are here to help. Happy yeah. birthday, Zach. Yeah, Thank happy you, Jerry. birthday for, for sure. Well, I ordered my vehicle, yeah. a 2021 Lexus GX460 Luxury, which finally arrived at the dealership. I sent you an email. My e email is now joinyaa.com, just an FYI, but your auto advocate email still come to us. Yeah. Um, at about 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Yep, I yeah. did see that, Jerry. Um, yeah. So she got a 7% dif discount off of MSRP, which I thought was pretty good. I think that's phenomenal in I today's think world, especially on an ordered vehicle. And here we go. So if you search at the Freeman Lexus dealership, yeah. it does pop in their inventory now. I yeah, did yeah. see on your website, though. Yeah, our website updates nightly, so it'll probably yeah. come through tomorrow. GM Robert Trumpeter did state that since we have a verbal agreement, he would honor that invoice price. That's God great. Bless. I never got anything in writing up front because I was so frustrated with the dealerships I had spoken with. Yeah, yeah. Feared I could always walk away. I have no problem with that. The only thing I see is an added $995 negotiable. I know for some type of alarm system, he stated that I can take it off the vehicle if I choose to do so. He stated that when they had the riots in Oakland, California, they found all the cars that were stolen. Well, that's, they that's found all the I personally don't see the need for that. That was what I told Jerry when she sent over the deal worksheet. And she said that they were taking it off. And it was $1,000 less. And then the sales and, tax went down too. Yeah, and, and it should because it was an ordered car. Exactly. And and they shouldn't be adding anything to an ordered car that the customer did not ask for at the time the customer placed the order. Exactly. Just saying. When you factory order a vehicle, that's one of the benefits right about yes. now of doing a factory order versus buying something that's been sitting on the dealer's lot. A, you can negotiate the price, not going to get too much. You can get future incentives, which potentially will be better. Yes. And you can say, hey, no need to install that. Well, you remember when I worked at the mini dealership? Yeah. Of course you do. I and, all those and, days. And yeah. we, we would do a lot of orders for customers. Of course, and, yeah. and, you know, every new car that came in that was a stock unit, got nitrogen in the tires, whether I thought it was a good deal or not. The owner thought it was a good deal for him, so they got nitrogen in the tires. But if you ordered a car, we we didn't put nitrogen in the tires because you didn't ask for it. If you wanted it, we charge you for it. But if you specifically did not want to have to spend for the nitrogen, yep. We would not install the nitrogen. Yep, yep. Which is the way it should be on an order. Jerry's here in the chat, so let's all let's do pops the first. And she oh, and she also got a thousand dollar rebate. She did indeed. I haven't warmed up, so let's see. Can okay, I press the buttons see. in the yeah. right sequence. Um, uh, she gets the, the uh, she gets the stamp. Great Shevska stamp. Oh, up over. Oh, I like that. So what video was it? I guess we can take these off. What video was it? Um, it was the one that went up yesterday or very recently. You did that same voice, which I don't know what that voice is, but I very uh, much like uh, it. It's, 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 it's my... Michael uh, Buffer? No. Let's get ready to rumble. No, pretty it's similar. Not, no, no, it's not. No, it's just, it's just like a generic ring announcer voice. I like or it. Or maybe not so generic. It's just, it's, it's what I perceive. If Ray Shevska <laughs> was a, a fight card ring announcer, mm. yes, then it would have been like Roberto Hands of Stone Duran. Something like that. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's go to Marty's question. <laughs> Sorry, folks. I, I do apologize in advance. <laughs> Zach, happy cake candle day. I've got you beat by one day. So unfortunately, I'll be at the dinner with the mass celebrating at 7 p.m. Marty, enjoy your dinner yes. and happy birthday happy to birthday you. Happy birthday to Marty. Yeah. yeah. Um, do we have a uh, – we needed a happy birthday uh, thing. Could we give him confetti? Dad, no? I was busy sleeping oh, on your couch. Y- yes, you were. Or on your um, – It was my bed. That's for Marty. My couch was your bed <laughs> last year. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Williams says, Pops. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, I know you don't focus much on exotics, but I have a question about Aston Martin leasing. We'll okay. do the best we can. Yeah. I'm being told by a dealer in California that Aston Martin Financial Services sets the rates and residuals for all their leases. I would say that's probably accurate. Most most likely, right? Yeah. Like that's yeah. how a lease typically works. Yeah. He's saying for a three year, 10,000 mile lease, the uh, money factor. Yeah. Is 0. 0.00210 and the residual is 58%. Yes. That comes out to roughly 5% APR. Let's yes. do the quick math. So yes. It's going to be point that mm-hmm. times mm-hmm. 2400. Yeah. 5%. Yeah. 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 He said there is no way to adjust for a lower rate as it's set by the bank chase. Should I believe this to be true? Is there truly no way to get any lower? And if so, I would love any other tips you could offer to get the absolute best deal in this scenario. Thanks in advance for your advice. Well, you know, I don't know what the buy rate is. Now, he could be telling you that that's the buy rate. But I will say this uh, for an Aston Martin with a residual at 58 percent, which seems rather high to me. Um, that maybe they're making up for that with a elevated money factor. Who else does that, Pops? Or so the B ends with a W? Is there an M in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> they all do it. Yeah, but BMW is kind of notorious. I mean, they, yeah. they BMWs lease well because they prop up residual values. Well, B, I will I will tell you this. Yeah. BMW is not afraid to A, prop up the residual, and B, still give you a low money factor. <laughs> but because, like because, higher money factor than some Yeah, but because they just want to move metal. And yeah. they want to be the number one volume luxury uh, retailers in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So trust me, they combine both. So when you're in a situation like Joshua, yeah. for anyone that's leasing, whether it's an Aston yeah. Martin or a yeah. Alfa and, Romeo, and, and it doesn't a, surprise me that Chase is, is their lending institution because Chase used to be the one for Volvo and Chase is the one for Subaru. Yeah. 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 But it, but the at the end of the day, to know what the actual buy rate is, yes. there, you can you know, I think Edmonds has forums. Lease yes. Hacker has a really good website for lease information. Hopefully someday here on YA we'll be able to have in the community better. But like yeah. the only way to know what the buy rate is is to get it from the dealership. Yes. They're the ones that know the buy rate. Yeah. And, and then if we can circulate it as a community, that's super helpful. Yes. But, but there's not that many people leasing Aston Martin. What's um, he leasing? Didn't it just says an Aston yeah. Martin. You know, so it's kind yeah. of hard to know. But what yeah, Aston I, Martin has a fifty eight percent residual? Uh, none. Well, none should. But that's the vantage. No, let me re- let me say that one more time. None should, yeah, because I, you know, they do depreciate like a, a rock sinking to the bottom of the of Lake Tahoe, and it gets there like quickly, <laughs> even though it's like sixty eight hundred feet deep. <laughs> it's a very heavy Boom. rock. It is a pretty heavy rock. Yeah, Ali M, thank you yeah. for the birthday wishes. Yeah. Question. Our price is so inflated right now, it makes more sense to hold on to my current car, even though I have offers from Carvana, et cetera, which are greater than what I paid for the vehicle. I'm a hatchback type girl, and there's nothing available available here in LA. Prices are way too high. There's no leverage to be found. This is the situation a lot of people find well, themselves well, can, in. Can I say that I think Allie answered her own question? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, just saying, as a, as a hatchback kind of girl. Um, I, I think she answered her own question. She knows in her heart of hearts that she could sell the car and get a lot for it, but she's going to turn around and pay too much for whatever it was that she would replace it with. If, if she had another car that she could use while waiting for the giant ass bubble to burst. Focus. The giant took us bubble to burst. Oh no, the giant. <laughs> yeah, whatever. The giant took us <laughs> to burst. Um, <laughs> You know, that then it would make sense to sell the car. But if she has to replace the car as soon as she sells it, um, she already knows the answer to that. We all know the answer to that. I tagged you on that so Allie can, you know, yeah, bring you that can, up. You can you. just get back to me directly and call me an idiot. <laughs> Which you, by the way, would not be the first. Okay, so let's see here. Chris just yes. commented on here, Pops. Yeah. If a guy can wait 
Yeah. Would ordering a new Ford Super Duty the last week of the year be potentially the best deal of the year for a no. new truck? Otherwise, do you guys think that all the 2021s that were sitting around in Kentucky be discounted heavily come next late winter, spring when they hit dealers? I don't need a truck until April of next year, contractor, but want to find the best deal the for best newer use between now and then. Or if you can take delivery in December. So let's, especially yeah. the week between christmas and new year's which is traditionally the biggest volume sales wise week of the year so here's what i'm thinking we definitely need to do not tonight but just in general okay. we need to do a how to get the best deal in 2021 video and we need to break down what you just said ordering yeah. is not bad no uh this, and this ordering prior, right now with ford they'll give you an extra thousand dollar rebate if and, you'll wait and we need to be very very direct in how we tell people and and ask to take delivery between this period of well, time or like you need, you need to order so that it comes in sometime in december exactly yeah and, but i think Late we december. should we should there's a strategy here that i think will save people lots of money i, if we, I think i just okay said there's the video yeah. james ripped but we will do the video james because <laughs> i've been told by the uh, founder Oh, Dad, and, please and, stop. And, and my personal director oh, that we God. should do. And I, so I agree. I concur. Let's do that video. All right. I'm going to refresh the page again, see if there are any other. Yeah, we got a question oh, here more. that came okay. in from Dax. We'll also do um, the live chat as well, obviously, before we go public, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're doing that. Well. It'd be cool if we go public someday. Dax. Yeah. Hi, Pops. Shafska. And happy birthday, me. Zach. Thank yeah. you, Dax. Appreciate what you're doing for the car consumer community alliteration yes email templates are an amazing jewel yes they are beautiful 24 carat if you remember a while back quick question 24 carat yeah i guess that okay never mind all right we're good 24 carat gold yeah, yeah okay it is a jewel jewels if you remember a while back i was yeah. helping my daughter yeah. uh, helping my daughter buy a graduation car after yeah. more than three months of research and negotiations my daughter and i learned a lot even our family friends that are in the metal business are no longer <laughs> friends Ooh. the car industry brought out the true people and see who they really are okay okay going through the process with other dealerships is a very un is a very unpleasant experience since it's a seller's market oh, yeah. dealers do not care if you buy a car or either their price or, or none, none at all. all. Because my, they, they figure the next person that walks in yeah. will. My yeah. daughter was not happy, not with having the car, but the experience signed up for all the car referrals, and it's the same bed service and all awful. Costco dealer affiliates was the far worst wow. with bait and switch. Switch and bait. Uh, daughter and I had a blast. At the same time, we got to spend time spend time together take turns negotiating yeah, my daughter learned cool. a lot and now uh, will not be a flop good good for her we need merch that's like i'm yeah, not a flop I, I yeah walk in with it say I, i'm not a i'm not a flop or hats that say really this isn't a flop hat because that was what we used to say as well <laughs> give us a flop hat <laughs> each and every time we walked away from a bad deal as soon as we were in the parking lot we got chased to reconsider daughter said i do reconsider but it has to be my term that i'm comfortable if you agree we close if not i think about it yeah. uh, most of the things i notice the dealers are very excited to negotiate with a female yes. uh, that that's where i have a good time because daughter lured them in then we walk away <laughs> dealers face are very confused that they will close the deal conclusion we decide to wait and save the money when things are better i told my daughter it will be soon we will negotiate and do it again we both laughed she said that it was an awful experience but fun because we were not <laughs> the flop or an easy lay down good good um, for you too you sent a Honda invoice. Great. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll, we'll definitely check out the invoice. Yes. Yeah, so the, the sad reality is that when there's high demand and short supply, um, car dealerships take on a uh, the unenviable attitude of, well, either you're going to buy it or somebody else will. And, you know, if you're thinking that just because you're about to overpay, potentially, that I'm going to provide you with good customer service, you're out of your mind because the next person won't care if I provide any. So that's part of the issue. And then the other part of the issue is, yes, there's there's a tendency in dealerships uh, for them to, to really love having a female customer because they figure they can pull the wool over a woman's eyes. And that's really sad and unfortunate. I need you to banter for a minute because we actually had a uh, YA member send in an awesome yeah. Truly awesome example of um, really, really poor dealership communication in this market. I need to block out 
that person's uh, name in the communications because I don't want, obviously, like to, to put that on the internet. Okay. But it shouldn't take me more than, I don't know, another 15 hour, seconds. Hour and a half. And as I'm actually even saying this, yeah. we're making progress on yes. it. Yes. No, I so. love that. So so keep talking that because you're doing a real good job. of. How did you learn the blur? You're really good at that. I hope I'm not sharing my screen right now. Well, you know, if you are, then everybody knows. <laughs> Everyone knows my blur <laughs> trick. Uh, uh, one more down. Okay, yeah. there you have it. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Let me just look this over one yeah. more time. Okay, that all looks good. Okay. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, let's. This is an example of how much of a seller's market it is. Kimberly says, yes, is that one, Zach? Yes, Kimberly uh, sent this one to me from a YAA community member. Okay. Okay, so this is someone who sent in um, uh, an email inquiry yeah. for a, uh, a 1984 Honda Accord. Uh, 84. I, know, wait, I know. Wait, let me just... 84. That 37-year-old Honda Accord. 37? Well, this is 21. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I was born in 95, and I'm... 26. 25. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. okay. This was the... So this started on Saturday, July 10th. Yeah, this is a quick exchange. Okay. Um, uh, no interest in 11,000, but, but truly thanks for trying <laughs> FYI, what we purchased for is not relevant. So the, the prelude to this is, yes. um, the YA community member found on like an auction website that yeah. they bought the vehicle for $7,000 yeah. and they were listing it for 14. Ooh. So he sent yeah. an email and yeah. said, I'll make you an offer. Yeah. I know you need to make a profit. Yeah. I'll offer $11,000. Wow. FYI, what we purchased for is not relevant. If you're more concerned about our profit margin than buying one of the best in existence, you're going to miss out on one of the best available. Best of luck of on search. Yeah. We are pretty set on what it's offered for. Okay. There, so this is, there, this is from William. This is a reasonable dealership this is turning from, down a $4,000 profit. <laughs> this is from William, <laughs> yeah. the uh, YA member. Yeah. David, that's the person that works yeah. for the dealership. Yeah. I only brought it up to say that I understand that you need to make money on your sales. Yeah. It is nice, and it is likely one of the nicest out there, yeah. but it isn't worth 14000 by any stretch of the it imagination. It must 14000 new. There really is no need to get snippy. Yeah. I'm not wrong, and I think you know that. Everyone negotiates when attempting to purchase a car. Responding to a potential opening negotiation like I just offended you is... An interesting way to do business. Yeah. If you're stuck on selling this at 14000 good luck to you. But if you would like to start over and have a real negotiation, you have my information. That was, cool. we're, we're at 12 minutes apart. Okay, cool. Another 15, 20 minutes passes. Okay. William, that's about how we figured this was headed. It's not up to you, my friend, on what we make or a baseline for, for you to negotiate. If it's out of your range at $13,890, don't buy it. But rest assured, it will sell when it sells, just like all our vehicles do. I may have worked with you, but lost interest with your negotiating tactics. Okay. In future, don't try to dictate to a seller on what you feel is a fair profit, and it may work out better for you. It's all good. Have a great weekend. I'm going to pass. Best of luck on search. Just a, an overarching statement here that I want to yeah. call out. Yeah. When someone says, yeah. it's all good, yeah. or... It's whatever. Yeah. Or that didn't offend me. Yeah. They are triggered. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this this yeah. salesperson is yeah. triggered. Yeah. The nerve you have to even suggest to me, ha, huh, ha, huh, I don't need you. Okay. So William came back. His final response was yeah. negotiation tactic. You mean saying, here's my opening <laughs> offer and expecting you to retort until we both find a price we're comfortable with? Yeah, the audacity. Yes. How dare I? Unheard of. Learn some customer service berating potential buyers who are trying to advocate for themselves may not be the great may not be a great way to do business. I, I think he's right. So just so I, I would hope. Yeah. What's your take on that? Well, a that that the salesman's a moron. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I say that with all the love <laughs> and respect, respect that I can muster. You spent forty years doing it, so you yeah. get it. So, yeah. so, so I mean, I understand his position because, well, who in their right mind wouldn't want to spend fourteen thousand dollars for a thirty-seven-year-old Honda Accord that wasn't fourteen thousand dollars when it was new? Yeah. They, I get it. You know, you're you're buying a collector's item. Yep. I get that. They maybe only made. I don't know, a million or two of them. <laughs> you know, it's it's a real uh, numbered limited edition of, say, a million. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're getting one in a million, but this is the special one. Um, but, to, but to have the attitude that since 
there's no need to negotiate. You're going to tell a customer off. Well, what happens if someday there is a need to negotiate and you don't know how to do it anymore? You don't know how to curate a relationship with a potential customer because, well, you're such a moron that, that you don't understand that, that it's not all about the present. It's about today moving into the future. And, well, you've cut off the future for that potential customer. Why would he ever want to do business with somebody like that? Yeah, it's just ever. You talk about like on a human level, it's just a total miss on a human level. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just he was so obnoxious about it. Yeah. You yeah. know, you could just say, hey, market conditions are such that right now we, we're not in a position where we can negotiate. I appreciate the offer. Da, 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 da. You know, if we were able to do something, maybe I could save you four or 500 bucks. Say something like that. Give them a potential that there might be something there. But don't just th throw darts in his eye. I mean, mm. what's the point? Yeah. Uh, Jerry wants to know, are you still thinking about having a do not buy from dealerships listed on your website? Good idea. Good concept. Yeah. I think on that dealership reviews channel back in yeah. the community, we'd like to see that grow out. Also, I just want to acknowledge to everyone. Um, let me share my screen. I am so behind on the community. I've got so like, thank you to my dad. Thank you to Kimberly. Thank you to Justice. Thank you to Mike Dean, to Melissa, to Space, to everyone that's in here answering community questions right now, because I got 19 notifications for buying. I've got two for leave. Like I am very far behind and I apologize for that. But hopefully this Second upcoming weekend. Second improve tomorrow? I um, think so. No, yeah. I'm on the train tomorrow. So maybe okay. being on the train can be helpful. Yeah. Uh, you can get some stuff done there. Yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking we do, Pops. Yeah. Let's open up tonight's stream. Okay. So let me do that over here on the right. We're going to open up tonight's stream. So we're going to have, um, what's the polite way to call them? Um, non-members. Non-members. Yeah. Well, now, well, I think a more inclusive way to say it is we're going from a members only stream yeah. to a all to a public all all, all encompassing stream. So I just hit that. What yeah. I'd like for us to do is since we we didn't go live yesterday, we're not going live tomorrow. Let's hit on the latest data from Black Book. Let's talk okay. about that because yes. that was pretty. That was staggering. It was actually I'm concerned. it was actually nuts. Um, yeah. I mean, I thought it was. Or as crazy. I like to say, knock and futz. It was it was pretty knock and futz. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. Folks should be trickling in here and yes. let's go. Did I put it in the general channel? I think I put it in I the general channel. I think you did. Channel. Yes. You put it somewhere yesterday, which let's is, see. you know, I and I think I commented on it. I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the kind of guy I am. Holy cow. Yeah. So I'm going to go straight to Black Book's site. Yeah. Actually, we can we can look at it right here first. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I meant this generally. Okay. Maybe our clickbait titles about the bubble bursting weren't clickbait after no, all. This it, was, is the, it, was, it wasn't clickbaity. It wasn't it was, Ned Beatty. It was Warren Beatty. It was Warren Beatty, yeah, <laughs> as it turns out. Yeah. So, I mean, we had week over week the largest decline yeah. in wholesale used car prices in well over a year. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. I mean, it was it was very, very significant. Let's yeah. go over to the Black Book website. And we can look at the numbers there. For cars. Yes. Over a point. Yes. Which... When you're up here and you know gaining a point week over week, yeah. or sometimes two points week yeah. over week for twenty um, some weeks, you need more weeks like this. Yes, but that's that's, I mean, double what it was the week prior. Yes, and triple the, or quadruple what it was the week before that. Yeah, I mean, this is really some. I don't want to call it momentum, but I I I think I think uh -huh. this is the beginning of a trend. I think it's the beginning of a trend too. Yeah, and I think. I think you heard it here first on YAA. Yeah. This is just this is Zach's 25, almost 26 year old naive brain. So I'm yeah. probably wrong. I'm not in the comments. I think people are running out of disposable money. Like I don't think I don't think there's as much interest to spend as much on something that seems inflated and overvalued. Like I think that we're at that we're at that point. We've hit we've hit the uh, You uh, think we've the hit ceiling. the ceiling. Definitely. Uh, on used cars. On used yeah. cars. Um I'm not sure. I, I think, as I said in my comment, yeah, um, that we won't see a significant decline uh, in retail prices for quite some time. I agree what with that. I suspect yeah. will happen is dealers are going to look at this and they're going to say, "Okay, this is three weeks in a row where we've seen a decline in what's what dealers are willing to pay at auction for yep. these cars." Which 
will automatically translate into the used car manager's brain. Ooh, I got to lower my offer on whatever trade-ins there are. Boom. That is the most immediate impact yes. we're going to see is trade-in valuations are going to begin to decrease one point each week. Is kind of like I, 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 I think I think if, for instance, two weeks ago, if you did a Carvana quote for something, for a car, and you do that quote again today, I think there could be five hundred to a thousand dollars less of an offer today yeah. than it would have been two weeks ago, and and I think I think new car dealerships will treat it the same way. They they'll they'll say, okay, this is the beginning of the end. We've 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 gone past the apex. We're on the way down, and they are going to uh, for sure significantly lower what their used car trade-in offers are. Yeah, everyone's going to need to reduce their cost basis across their portfolio. Yes, of, of but that doesn't mean, having said that, that they will reduce the retail asking, price. asking prices for them because I don't believe they will. I think that could take weeks, weeks, months, even before we start seeing anything like that. Um, so... But I, I think you'll see a dramatic impact on trade allowances, trade ACVs, things of that nature from dealerships, whether it be Carvana, CarMax, your uh, your local auto nation store, whatever it is. I, I think used car managers are going to look at this as the opportunity to try and start stealing trades again. Absolutely. Um, so while you were saying that, I'm yes. actually back over on our dear friend, uh, what's their website called? Car, car, car. Car Carnouche. Carnouche. Yeah, Carnouche. <laughs> Carvana. Carvana. So yeah. we had run a, uh, I'll share my screen in just a second. I'm waiting yeah. for it to load. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we had run, um, I guess this was, let's look at my email inbox. This was three days ago. Okay. For this 2019 Volkswagen Tig one. I guess this was yeah. on our Saturday night stream. Okay. $27,156. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's what, down 800 and some dollars? In three days. Okay. So unlike when prices were going up and we were saying, hey, just keep rerunning that Carvana a quote every yeah, single day. Lock, lock that that one. Because see, it has an expiration hours. date. Yeah. A week later. Lock yeah. it in. Yeah. Go run your quotes right now if you haven't already and lock it in. <laughs> because I think I think you're right. And the point yeah. I'm trying to make before is I, I feel like we're seeing like almost a societal thing is what I'm trying to say is inflation's happening. Yeah. And especially amongst cars. Whereas you and I are in 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 the passenger seat watching this. I mean, we are on the front row yeah. seeing this because we're yeah. talking about every single day. This is yeah. what we love. And yeah. I think cars and trucks and SUVs yeah. are, are a leading indicator of what's happening because of, of the shortages and whatnot. I think we're seeing consumers realizing they don't have as much money. There was stimulus money before, you know, there's, there's been all the challenges with the pandemic and whatnot. Like, I think this is kind of like the leading edge of, okay, inflation's happening. People are, are going to be more price sensitive uh, to things that, that they should be, i.e. overpriced cars. Because as, as, uh, as I've been known to say, uh, th that the way used car prices were escalating was not sustainable. Yep. And it wasn't. Yep. And it isn't. Yep. And we're on the downward side. And as I said in my comment yesterday, if, if you didn't sell your car last week or the week before, then you've probably waited two weeks too long. Yep. You know, and I, I and I've been saying for the last month, you're better off. On the, yeah, you're better off selling it for a few dollars less than the actual top dollar that you can get, than than hoping that you're going to get top dollar and find out you're you're selling on the downside, which and to it's going to go down faster than it went up. But to be fair, yeah, you can still sell your car right now for way more than it's worth. Oh, yes, way, way, way more. Yeah, so you but, haven't but, missed but the boat. But, but. You know, if you were that Tiguan, you missed eight hundred and fifty dollars worth of that boat. No, no, exactly. In three yeah. days. So that that's my point. I, I you know, uh, you, sometimes you should agree, you should be willing to take a little less. Um, we always use this yeah. saying that neither of us actually know. Gets, hogs, hogs get fat pigs, and pigs, and, and yeah. pigs become hogs. Yeah, and then somebody has uh, makes bacon, and the next thing you know, the pig was committed. <laughs> 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 let's read your let's read your your comment here. Actually, so let's put it back on the screen for okay. everyone that's joining. Yeah. Wholesale prices. Wholesale. Yeah. Wholesale, wholesale, yes. wholesale. 
car prices on the wholesale use side yes. dropped a point. Yes. Trucks were down four tenths of a point. Yes. And we had uh, the overall market, market was, yep. was down six, a little over six tenths. Of we a point. do this pretty much every week. Red yeah. line, if it's at the red line. So for example, three weeks ago, it was at the red line. I mean, yeah. I, mean I think we saw like two one hundredths of a point decrease, yes. right? When we're all the way down here, that's a pretty steep drop. Yes. When we're all the way up here, for example, this was when that was, this is, pretty... that was the week when wholesale used car prices increased 2% in yes. one week. Yes. Your Which car is... appreciated and the wholesale market two points in one week. Yeah. Now Which we're coming doesn't back. happen. Yeah. So I posted that back yeah. on the YAA community. Yes. Whoops. Which then my dad, of course, commented on. Thank you for commenting. I'm going to like it. Yeah. Uh, it right. appears that perhaps we are seeing a trend that will continue for a while. My sense is that retail prices have peaked and will ever so slowly decline over the next several months. I don't know if it'll be slowly, but yes. Well, the, the, the retail, oh, retail, price, retail. Yes. you're right, you're right. Yeah. The instant online offers for consumers used cars at used car retailers, such as CarMax, Carvana, Vroom, and Shift, will probably start to see a somewhat rapid and significant decline. And those who are waiting to sell their pre-owned car at the height of this insanity have probably waited a week or two too long. And we did just test that out with this <laughs> Volkswagen Tiguan three days ago. Yeah. I got this quote on the Saturday night live stream. Here it is today. Mm -hmm. So yeah, pretty, pretty spot on. Um, I believe that the declines in these offer prices will be incredibly steep and that once again, vehicles will become what they have always been for the most part. And that is a depreciating asset. What we have seen up to this point with appreciation of used car values was not sustainable and perhaps, just perhaps, used car values will soon be returning to somewhat normal, historically aligned wholesale and retail values over the next several months. And so if you are someone who has recently purchased a vehicle, yes, you knew what you're getting into. If you're someone who's been waiting to sell a vehicle, now's the time to sell if you haven't already. Yes. Um, oh, here we go from Bruce Liebowitz in the chat. Let me pull this up on the screen for everyone. This is great. Well, just rechecked my Carvana yeah. quote three weeks ago is 16,000 today is 16,398 there you go okay so his went up 400 bucks yeah keep tabs on it yeah. please keep us keep us uh keep us posted that's super interesting yes um but what we're seeing from black book which is going to be tracking from the uh the all of the people that are in their network and in particular um you know the auctions when the pigs get fat hogs get slaughtered there you have it. That, that was Matt. I don't know if that was worth five hours, but but we will take that five hours and we will make a stamp and we'll, we'll make a shirt. You're committing me to a lot yeah. of work right we're now. Gonna, we're going to make a shirt that says pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. And I'll wear it for every live stream. So I never forget ever again. Slaughtered are the pigs. Hogs, they get fat. Oh, something like that. <laughs> But I do know in the bacon and egg situation that the pig was committed and the chicken was only thinking about it. <laughs> Let's keep walking through this, Pops, because yeah. it's quite interesting. Compact yes. cars. Uh, down almost two points. Wow. Yes. Wow. But Why? Notice, what? How? Notice there's only one that went up. Uh, oh, subcompact cars. Yeah, because they are the least expensive cars for people to still buy. So we're still talking the five to ten thousand dollar price. Excuse yeah. me, vehicles out there. That price point is still super attractive. So we're still seeing yes. positive momentum yes. in terms of price. But everything else is this is huge. Motion. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I mean, actually, it's not because of how thing how quickly yes. things went up. Uh, seven of the nine segments yeah. declined. Okay, so then we have on the trucks and SUVs, compact vans sticking out like a sore thumb. Yep. Wow. Small pickup trucks with the biggest declines, but across the board, pretty, pretty evenly distributed. Yeah. Interesting. This is also compelling. So the newer used vehicles were appreciating less rapidly. They were still appreciating. <laughs> yes, they were. They were. They were selling at wholesale for more than what their original MSRP was. Surprising that this hasn't lasted in perpetuity. Yeah, it doesn't make any <laughs> sense. Um, but we do have here. Apparently, you know, everybody thought this was an 84 Honda Accord. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we did have some pretty significant declines amongst newer used yes. vehicles as well, but nothing yes. as big as the overall market. Let's see. They have the retail uh, Chevy Bolt used retail prices. Okay. Yes. So this hasn't changed. After 19 weeks of continuous increase, retail prices seem to reach their peak last week. Like wholesale prices, we saw a slight drop in retail listing prices. Currently, retail prices are about 25%. Yeah. Above. Do you see it, Dad? And the slight Do you drop see it? is like, I, uh, no. I can't zoom in any more than that. Well, you know, honestly, I don't see it. It's, it's going down a little bit. Really? Y equals MX plus B. The slope. Yeah, is like negligible. But yeah. it's. Yeah. Sure. Wow. No, a tenth of a point. 
at a hundredth of a point. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Uh, used retail listings are down week yes. over week. So yes. they've actually decreased week over week. Days to turn has also, no, days to turn has come back up yeah. just a little bit. Yeah, tad. 32 but, days. Yeah. And wholesale. Yeah. Okay. So there's your market update. There's the state of the uh, used car market. It is, yes. uh, it is starting to yes. show signs of a trend. I believe. That a bubble has potentially. Yeah, that there's some air leakage from the bubble. I don't know that it's burst, but it's leaking air. Some or helium. Or helium. Yeah. All right, let's answer a couple questions in the um uh in the chat pops and then I'm um, I'm, I'm available. Yeah, yeah. We'll get yeah. to like let's get to It's the... not like I have any more Suns games to watch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't wait another twenty eight years for them to make it back to the finals. The, those 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 guys better do it again next year. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Answer a couple questions. Um, this was tonight. Tonight was a members only stream. Yes. That we've opened up to the public. So just know that as we're getting moving. Okay. This is from Jolly Ripper, New Jersey. Okay. NJ. Could the fact that OEMs will no longer accept buyouts from anyone other than the owner be contributing to the price drop because that may discourage people from trading out their current vehicle? I don't think so. No. No, because the people can still buy the car and turn around and sell it and make a profit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. think that's probably having too big of an impact, but it yeah. is interesting that, that it's, it's an interesting yeah. thought. Brandon B. Dodge Viper prices. That's a cool icon. Dodge yeah. Viper prices are through the roof. Do you think that's due to overall rise in prices or is it collectors just paying more considering selling my 2002 GTS? I think it's across the board. Well, and I, I think it's more because of it's a collector's item. But I'm saying what I'm saying is car prices all appreciate. Like yeah. Collector but, cars. Yeah. Utility yes, cars. Yes, yes, subcompact but, cars. But, but collector type cars even more so. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Hey, Larry R is here. Thank yeah. you, Larry, for being here. Um, all right. Bruce has a question. Question. <laughs> Should I try to get them to add 398 on the trade or is it not worth it? I, if I take Carvana and not trade, I'll lose because of the sales tax credit. They well, know that the, too. Then Bruce, you already answered your question. We're just here to reinforce. Yes, yes. We we are here to point out what you already know. Mikey Rast. Yes. Definitely trying to get as much info beforehand around 38,000 is not cheap purchase. Well, no, it is not. That's why we're here. Although that is below the average transaction price in America today for a car. Which is craziness. Truck. Yes. Um, question. I'm without wheels in Southern California. I got to buy. I'm thinking of jumping into the luxury market. BMW annual maintenance costs. Should it scare me away? Well, 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 don't forget if you buy a new one yeah. or lease a new one, you have four years or 50,000 miles worth of maintenance. Now, BMWs I, come with that? Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Now, there are a couple things that they don't cover in the maintenance. Brakes is one they used to they no longer do and well if you end up needing brakes you're going to find out they're really really expensive <laughs> on a bmw yeah and they don't cover wiper blades anymore now the wiper blades aren't the thing that's going to set you back thousands but the brakes could gotcha so gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. if you're buying a used car and the free maintenance is done uh yeah bmws are expensive to maintain Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I'm going to put this question up on the screen and yes. you can answer it. I'm getting hot, so I'm going to get some yeah, water. You are. Yeah, I, see that. I just got like very flustered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go do that. Have fun okay. with this question. Mm -hmm. on. Why are so <laughs> some dealers so stubborn? Um, well, I'm not allowed to curse um, because they're assholes. Um, you know, they 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 can't think past today. Okay, they think today about what they can what they can get, what they can get away with, and they don't think how that can impact tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And so that's why some dealers are so stubborn because they're they're just not wise enough to look beyond today. They as as Zach likes to say, they're in it for the short term whereas we're short game, short game, and and others, the smarter ones, are in it for the long game. They're they they want to dealerships make a decision. Do we want to sell every person one car because we took so much advantage of them they would never come back to buy a second, or do we want to sell a bunch of people a bunch of cars because we took care of them each time, not expecting to sell everybody a car? 
And, you know, the ones that are stubborn are the ones that are going, we're just going to take advantage of you today and we'll move on to the next person that will do that for us tomorrow. And ultimately, uh, if people keep having other uh, people and keep making babies, we'll be in business for a long time. Scott, uh, hello from Abilene. Thanks for being here. Scott, you're not late. We just opened up the stream. John's yes. here from Coming, Georgia. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Jolly Ripper, when will Ford build my new 2021 Ford Raptor? Have y'all ever visited the Oyster Creek restaurant in Bopar? So, <laughs> no. Have you? No. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't seen Skyler in the chat in a while. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know when Ford's production schedule yeah. looks like. I have no we really, idea. We really don't know. Yeah. Looking to get a new Tacoma before September. Should I wait as long as I can pull the trigger uh, now if I find a new one? Find one now. Um, We've been saying to people, if you can order and then take delivery in yes. December, that's ideal. Yes. That's like the new the new move. Yes. And if you can't do that, then you just have to, you have to be patient and practice perseverance and work hard and hopefully find two dealers that you can yeah, pit yeah. against each other and that maybe yeah. maybe get some type of discount. Matthew, uh, any advice from you being a mini owner and employee on a factory order? Seems like I have no advantage or leverage buying an EV with only one dealer in Utah. Oh. Yeah, you don't. Uh, well, <laughs> I believe, and I don't know if it's just in the eastern region, and it might not be a national program, but I believe Mini was offering a two thousand dollar credit to people really for ordering a vehicle. Because, from my understanding, is most Mini dealers don't have any real inventory at the moment. Yeah, um, you know, and and, and it's going to take a while, um, but. You know, you're, it's, it's, there's only like 218 mini dealers across the country. Yeah. So there's not as much competition as, as in some other brands. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But, you know, maybe, maybe the mini dealer in Utah will, between state uh, electric vehicle rebates and federal rebates and, and the please order a car with this rebate for many that, you know, maybe you can save a few dollars. Potentially. Yes. Here's what I'm thinking, Pops. We're yeah. going to be going live on Saturday night. I'm yes. not going to be here, but we're going to, we're still going to be live. Yes. Which will be quite fun. I'm looking forward to that. Well, it just won't be the same for me because I'll keep looking over to my left and there won't <laughs> be anybody there. No, no, I'll set you up in your, in your room. I thought I was thinking we'd set you up in your room. Why? Cause you're allowed. I don't think your laptop will I don't know. We can we can figure it out. Well, whatever. Okay. Anyway, so, we're going well, live. Either way, I, I'm, I, you know, I, okay, whatever. You, I'll just have a crick in my neck. Um, we're going live. Yeah. On Saturday night. Yeah. Um, so please tune in for that. Yeah. Send out notifications and all that fun stuff. Tonight was members only live stream. So yes. thank you to everyone that was a part of that. Yes. We could open up for phone calls and and all that fun well, stuff, but, but I think I, I'd rather. Let's, I think you're tired. Yeah. Let's 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 come back on Saturday night. Okay. We'll do a nice stream on Saturday night. Yeah. Between now and then, if you want the research, if you want the reporting, we have all that back on the YAA community. Just go to the general channel, and it's incredible seeing the amount of activity back here. So everyone, go check that out. Pretty yes. pretty please. Community or join YA.com. You can get here from there as well. So you Pops, think, You think I know how to get there? <laughs> I don't know how to get there. <laughs> Let's call it a night for tonight. We'll come back on Saturday. Okay. We appreciate everyone being here. Thank you for that. Happy birthday, young man. Thank you, Pops. You're Greatly welcome. appreciate it. Yes, you're welcome. See you guys on Saturday. See you all. Good night. <laughs>